Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Deck Review. Hey, today we're going to look at the purple limited deck from Illusionist.com and Peter McKinnon. What is the Purple Limited deck? Well, after the success of the Limited Edition Red, Illusionists, they sat down and discussed the possibility of actually making an unlimited version. And so after you know going back and forth, they came up with Blue. So Blue came out in early 2013, and you might remember I did a review for that a long time ago. So even after Blue came out, Peter still felt like he wanted to have another color. And so Purple was kind of like his vision and having that come to life. And so now purple is available. It has Peter McKinnon's signature on the tuck flap, kind of like as an homage to him because he's the creator. But it still contains all the qualities of the original LTD that we all like. So very subtle, uh, dignified diamond back, uh, really thin white borders, and a crisp, buttery finish. The tuck case is all purple, wrapped all the way around with no words or design at all. It just says LTD right there in the front, and you'll see some sort of like kind of a paisley decoration there in the back. The tuck top is completely blank. The bottom has some ad copy about illusionist.com. There's that Peter McKinnon signature we all know and love, and that is it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they do come on a retail stock. They do have a standard cut and air cushion emboss, and if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Everybody always asks how uh, cards feel, how they handle, how they perform, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you'd like to know how they feel, you can click a link below in the description that kind of tells you uh, where these cards fall uh, as compared to other decks. And so when I measured these, they were kind of a middle of the road stock. They're not really heavy and thick like a casino deck. They're not buttery soft like maybe the newer Roadhouse decks. So it's kind of in the middle there. Uh, you can check the website and it'll show you some other decks that are comparable to it. The back of the card is very simple and it does, I believe, have the best of both worlds. Um, it has a repeating pattern that gets pushed to the edge of its frame. So it does kind of have a casino look to it, but it also has a thick white border, which makes it more like a poker deck. And you'll also notice it has a thin pencil line border around that. Pretty much the main color there is purple, like the other LTD decks. And so if you do have the other LTD decks, this is a great one to add to your collection. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of extras. You're gonna get an illusionist ad card, and you'll get a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. Pete McKinnon's uh, Ace of Spades is pretty simple. It's a line drawing, uh, ink drawing of a standard pip spade, but kind of done like a calligraphy pen would draw it. And then underneath that, it does say limited. With this deck, you'll also get two identical jokers. It's a marionette hand floating above a J uh, that has a purple top, and it does say joker underneath that. The purple limited deck also has Madison Quartz. And so uh, if you're familiar with some of the Madison decks, uh, you're going to find Daniel Madison, Pete McKinnon, a lot of their best friends, a lot of their girlfriends, and some other fellow magicians. The pips and indice cards are going to feel and look completely standard. The red cards have a more deeper hue to them, and the black cards are a deep silver. And if you'd like to purchase the purple limited deck, you can find it right now at illusionist.com. All right, so that is my review of the purple limited deck from illusionist.com and Peter McKinnon. As always, I recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com.